Okay, welcome back to Just a Sister Thing, uh, to my little crafty corner. Um, I'm Calla, and I want to make a very pretty, very unusual tag today for Tag Along Tuesday. So, um, it's going to be pretty um, basic, I think. I think everybody has a little tray of alcohol inks that they don't know what to do with. But if you don't, I can tell you that they're actually very easy to make. You take, these are actually store-bought ones, but uh, back when I was doing um, my custom art, I would take a Sharpie, pop open the top, and pull this out with pliers, and then all of these little um, felt tips are full of ink, permanent ink. And you would put that in a, a little bottle and add um, like 90 proof alcohol to it and um, shake it and then you've got your own alcohol inks that's a cheap way to make it uh, or you can buy them like you know when they're on sale 40% off Joann's has 40 or 50% off all the time uh, we're gonna need some shiny paper anything with any kind of finish this is flat on the back shiny on the front you can do it with um, mirrored paper um, but today, I think we're just going to work with, I'm going to work with three of these. And you can buy this paper, I'm assuming you can buy it at like Staples and stuff as well. You just need paper with a high gloss, uh, with a little bit of grit to it. Um, cardstock. You could probably, um, buy this at Staples, I assume. I just buy this size, and I want to say that it's Beppo or Aleppo. It's terrible, but I tore off the package, so I don't know what it's called. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to list a link down below. It's This is, I think, the Tim Holtz brand. Um, but it's in the card-making aisle. So I have, happen to have a little bit of alcohol blending solution. Again, not really necessary, but that's what I have. All right, so let's get busy. We're going to make... I do want to make... I'm going to make a mermaid journal, so I do want to make another one of these with the, the coloration that you see here. Um, so what I did was I started with my darkest colors down at the bottom. I'm give them a good shake. Some of mine are pearl. Ooh, that's a pearl. And then some of them are just plain. So I kind of treat it like, like you're painting a landscape. In this case, I wanted my darker colors down at the bottom. And see how that starts spreading so nice? And I'm going to come in with my pearls. And it just immediately starts spreading. My daughter was in the hospital forever. And we had an amazing art therapist. I think I can say her name. Her name was Meredith, and she's part of the family. Love her very much. And she is the person who introduced us to alcohol inks. Um, and we would play, <laughs> literally play in there, for hours with the inks. Um, we did tiles. Uh, we did all kinds of different things with them. Anything non-porous and kind of slick is what you can work with. And you're just dropping the inks. Gonna come up the sides a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna divide that card in half, so I'm gonna go up the middle as well. I'm gonna put some light. Let that pour down a little bit. You can see that they're just fun. It's a fun day when you're working with inks. So I'm going to drop some of the light color in here. And what do I have here? Alcohol Pearl Envy. Because for this one, I am mimicking um, colors in the ocean. And so when you start dropping in the pearls, they just spread. 
so pretty. I'll hold that up closer so you can see how the pearls just kind of roll around in there and give you some different sparkly prettiness. Okay, what else did I... Let me see here. Let's put this one in here. I'm going to fill in my spots now. i got spots that I'm not happy with. Okay. Now, the alcohol blending... Whew, put that on there nice and tight. You just kind of squirt that on there as well. Maybe not as much as I did. I got maybe a little little overly rambunctious there. Okay, and then you let that run. In this case, I'm pulling up those dark colors in some nice patterns. Because I do want to mimic little things that would be growing in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's turning out really pretty. Run them this way a little bit. And the back does leak through. No big deal, because we're going to put a backing on it. Yeah, I definitely like that. Um, I'm put a little droplet here to kind of cover that. Okay, now ordinarily, if you're just on one card, you can grab the... Uh, I have lettuce here. I think I'm going to drop a little bit of lettuce at the top. You could spray or not spray, sorry, you could um, dry this with the, uh, the dryer. But in this instance, I'm going to work on a, another one. So I have a little variety. So you can kind of see we've got some things that are floating upwards like you would see in the ocean. You've got some bright spots of color. Uh, we've got some sparkles. Any which way you hold it is how you're going to get some ink movement. You can see it moving down there. If it's not moving fast enough for you, just drop in some blending solution. Not sure I like that bright purple. So I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. Okay. That is card number one. You can see how fast this is. This is a very fast process. Now it's not dry, obviously. So I'm going to set that to the side. Right over there. Okay. Um, in my last um, book that I did, I did a real pretty wheat embossment. So that is what I'm going to work on now. So what I'm going to do is lay my base. I want my dark brown down here. I think I'm going to hold that up and let it drip down on there a little bit. Get it to work its way down there into that hole. And what is this? Ginger. So we're going to get a nice orange brown going. Well, it looks very similar to my other one. No, it's definitely got orange to it. That was espresso, and this is orange. So I'm going to overlap. I'm going to move the inks around. Now, the uh, artist artist technique is to to have a little puffer that blows it which I have no idea what mine is somewhere here, but I don't know where. But blowing works just as well. Okay. So we're working on getting lighter. That's caramel. Butterscotch. I think butterscotch is what I used a lot up at the top. So we're going to use some butterscotch. Mixing those colors, that 
them kind of marry themselves together and muddy up a little bit. I have this beautiful orange. You know what? It's a pearl. So I'm going to shake it pretty good. Now, I always have a tendency, and I'm just plopping that everywhere because I like the orange. It's very sunshiny to me. Um, if you don't like to get messy, because sometimes these are really hard to get back off. Um, I would recommend using gloves when I used to work a lot with my colors, uh, especially spray colors. I think I showed some of my, one of my art pieces. Uh, I just used to walk around with colored fingers all the time. <laughs> People, my family just accepts it. They just know that I do these things. Okay, so again, I want this to kind of look like a field. So I'm going to run streaks up it like this. Because when I'm done, I am also going to run this through the embossing machine. Which is going to give us a really cool raised texture. Some ginger in this corner. Put it right there. Got a spot right there. And you can kind of see that the more you play with it, the more you can get... Um, the just uh, whatever emotions you're going for like this to me is just very fall summer late summer fall colors okay I'm pretty good with that one I think I'm gonna leave that one alone um, I really debated on putting a little bit of green in it so let's see here let's see if we like the green I think it's kind of pretty. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side. Let it dry. That is very, very sunshiny to me. Okay. I'm going to do one more. And I think I'm going to do a shabby chic uh, junk journal coming up pretty soon. So what I want to do is this is not going to really resemble like a field or a ocean bottom or anything. I just want real happy colors. I don't know if I use this. Envy. This is, I believe, pearlized. Yeah, it's pearl. So we'll pop some of that in there. Just some pretty colors. And then I don't want it to run to the top of the card. I want it to run to the bottom. So I'm going to pick it up. Just kind of tilt it. And I'm okay with whatever ge geometric designs I get. Because this is not, like I said, it's not really resembling a landscape or anything. Okay, so I'm going to turn that around. Because it's going to be a happy little shabby chic card. So I'm going to put some pink on it. I'm going to use a lot of pink. kind of getting in the mood to do a shabby chic journal. I haven't done one for a while. I have this super bright one and it's also a pearl. It's enchanted and I just kind of buy them whenever they're on sale or if I've got a good coupon I just pick up a pack here and there. Just kind of shaking it a little bit, breaking down some of those colors. And I think what I want to do, I've got this edge down here filled in pretty good. So I think that what I'm going to do is just streak that on there and let it flow upwards. So I don't want to run the pink and the green together. I'm not sure what kind of color combination I would get with that. So I want to loosen that up a little bit and make it spread. And I want it to be very smeared, very smooth. I don't want long straight streaks in it. So I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Okay. 
So that is it for that part. Simple. Very simple. I keep them in my little tray here. Put that back over there. Okay. Make sure you have a clean uh, space that you don't mind destroying because alcohol ink, alcohol inks spread everywhere. Five and a half. So five and a half by a little bit over four. And I think what I'm going to do is flip them down the middle. I like this little light break in here. And it's when you get up close, I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's got a nice little pearlescence in there. It's super cute. Okay. So, what did I say? Five and a half? So we'll cut this down to eh, close to two and three quarters. Okay, so now we have um, the beginnings of some very pretty cards. Alrighty. Hopefully they're dry enough to bring out the embosser. I got my little baby embosser here. Texture Boutique. Just in case they're not dry all the way, I'm going to spread them out. But I'm going to work with these ones first. Okay. So this is my little very inexpensive wheat filled. Um, I want to say it's, it's in that... $2.50 collection at Joann's where they have a lot of little things like that. I can't think of what the name of the, the it's not place in time. Maybe it is place in time. Okay. So I want I want it to be raised. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down and I like this tall spiky one right here in the middle. So I'm going to focus on offsetting that a little bit because I'll put a little bit of doodads over here or something. So I want to offset that a little bit. Okay, and I didn't want to cut off the bottom. All right, so hopefully we're dry enough. I'm going to send it through. We'll see if it's not, then I'll take a minute and blow dry them and redo them. see what we got. Oh, a little bit here. Did come off. Um, but that's that's uh, what you get out of that. Okay. I don't like that. Hmm. I was even very careful to make sure that I had my raised side, so I'm going to flip it over and do it this way. It definitely needed to dry just a little bit longer, but that's okay. So I'm going to hold that up. I hope you can see. Very, very neat. Gives you a really nice raised texture. And to me, I don't know, that looks like a field in the Midwest on a sun going down day. I love that. Um, cleaning is very easy. You just take some... This is 70%, but it should clean up... Uh, this ink off of plastic pretty well. So when I'm all done here, that's something that I'll take the time, clean it up, because I don't want that to get on a regular card or paper or cardstock or whatever I should happen to send through there. Okay, so I have this other one. I think it's real pretty. And <laughs> make sure that I'm putting it in there right. I am so bad at embossing. Like I need a class on embossing. I'm so bad at it. Okay. So I want the raised part to be in the color. So pretty. I mean, that's just 
Love it. Love, love. I could switch um, my background here. I have a couple other folders, but for the sake of time, I'm going to run it through that. That with the pearls coming through. So pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. After saying I wasn't going to look for another folder, here I am looking for another folder. What is this little guy? I don't know. That's uh, it's my things are too small for that because this is on the outside. So to keep my folders organized and neat, I put a, I just take an old hollowed out junk journal. This would have been pretty on any of them because this is a little bird. I don't know if you can see that a little bird in a tree. Not exactly for my ocean though. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go with this weird paisley. I take a uh, old journal, rip out all the pages when I'm done with it. No, all birds. I have all birdy things. And I use double-sided tape and stick the original packaging to it, and then I always know where my, my little folders are. Because otherwise that stuff can get away from me real quick. Okay, so I'm going to use this. It's kind of my generic one. Pop that in there. Run it through. This is the one that I did do for the other one. Alrighty. Super pretty. I like how thin that one is. I must have missed my measurements a tad bit, but I really like that little skinny one. Sometimes if you run them through the big sidekick, uh, you can puncture through the cardstock because it, it seems to have a lot of grip to it. Um, but this little... This little one does a great job of not breaking the card itself. On this card, I did take um, some of the glazing compound by Tim Holtz, and I put that over the top. And it kind of gave me this little bubbly look to it, which I like for the uh, oceany one, but I definitely don't think I would like that for the other two. So, no room put the hold on that for a minute. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to pick each, pick one out of each of these ones. Put these over here out of the way. So for this, I just need a, a backing because to me, that's just a, it's, it's bled through and B, it's just not, it's not neat enough. It's, it would be too hard to write on if you were actually going to use it as a drawing card. So I definitely don't want to do that. So I'm just going to get some of my simple paper out. And I think I'll use the same one that I used on it last time. Actually, this little piece here might be enough. Let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad, huh? We use that. I'm going to trim that corner off anyhow. So, what I'm going to do here, just trying to keep my little Tuesday tag days, tag along Tuesdays, so I'm going to try to keep them very simple short videos under a half hour
so I'm not going to do any um, glaze medium or anything like that. Uh, if you have glaze medium, feel free to. I wasn't real big on that bumpy appearance, so I mean I'm okay with it for the ocean one, but definitely not for that. Alrighty, get my little white one out here. And this is just a me thing. I don't like um, raised paper to try to write on. Uh, other people may not have a problem with it. So if you're one of those people, just go ahead and go with it. I don't care. I like any opportunity to mix papers and patterns and textures. So that's also part of it for me. Okay, so we're pretty good here. start with this one because I already have this little guy here. So what I want to do, went on Graphics Fairy and I found this pretty uh, postcard. And then in the postcard it had these cool little fish. So I'm going to finish trimming them. This is what I took out of there. Finish trimming them with my little tiny scissors. kind of chomped them out with my big scissors. I was going to fussy cut out this little coral, but I kind of like it, and it gives me a little spot to balance out there against the side. So I'm going to leave it. Okay, Some black ink. Okay, so that is going to be my primary accessory on that. I do have a little bit of, which kind of looks like a little fishnet. Okay. Um, the one thing I do like to do with this oceany one is I very lightly run my glue stick over, over the embossing, trying not to hit the background, which <laughs> I didn't, but I did touch it. Okay, so, and then I have my silver transfer paper. Yeah, I like that little sparkle in the water. Let's see, very pretty. Okay, I need a little bigger piece of this stuff. I have two pieces in there, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with it because I want to keep fighting with it. Okay. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want to put my little net, aka gauze.
I always have this big block of stamp sitting in my vicinity because I always like to put a little oh what am I doing I like to put a little accent stamp on the back of them if they're kind of plain and I think I did this one on that side so I'll do this one on this side I'm the world's worst stamper I think because my table's a little uneven so my stamps never come out even That's it in a nutshell. Like I said, the other one I did um, a little bit differently. Because I put the wax over top of it. But I think on this one I'm not going to. Just for time purposes, I don't know. found this pretty stretchy. I think it's for making baby headbands or something. I don't know, but I thought it was so cute and it reminds me of coral. So I'm putting that in there. Put that through with my little embossing tool. So there. I now have a pair of these. Not gonna need the black anymore. Okay, so those are the first two. I'm gonna work on this one. And I had already kind of found this and laid it out. Um, I don't know. Does it go like that? Yeah, I think it kind of goes like that. And I'm going to see if I can find a piece of lace to put under it. I don't like these uh, bright edges. So I'm going to take them down a little bit. She's a little cutie patootie. Now, when this dries a little bit better, I'll probably, because I can't stop, I'll either I'm gonna put some little rhinestones over here, or maybe in the in the bud of the flower. I'm not sure. Take a minute. I'm take a minute on that one. 
Okay, so we got my little wheat flower, my little wheat field here. Um, honestly, they're, these are pretty enough to just throw a, throw a ribbon on and be done. They don't really even need anything. But why not? And so the way I placed the paper on here, I wanted that little edge down there. Because I really can't use it in the printer that way anyhow, because it always ends up too big. So I end up cutting that off and wasting it. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So my long, uh, I think that's wheat or pussy willow or something, is over here. Um, I'm going to wrap this up quickly. I say that, but who knows? Oh, that's that's my little newbie. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner, finally. The award goes to longest decision ever to me. Okay, I'm gonna darken up these edges. these wings just a little bit because I think I want them to stick up and doing that I will have to do um, a belly band or something like that for him leave that one a little bit more plain but I'm thinking stick together for me. Okay. Got a 
feels super cute. I lift up the little glue under there though because I didn't glue that part because I liked it sticking up. Okay. Uh, inked it. Good there. And there we have three really cute little tags. Four, but that was my demo. Really nice little tags. That would be a good addition to any style of journal. And like I said, don't be afraid to just get in there, jump in there, and work with those alcohol inks. They are so addictive and you cannot get a color scheme like that doing any other medium. I've tried everything. Um, alcohol inks are sheer. They blend. They're just absolutely beautiful. And they're, and they're fun to work with. They're very therapeutic. If you're having a rough day, you go upstairs, you work with your little blending inks and um, alcohol blender. I mean... That is not a bad day. That's a good day. Any day crafting is better than any other day, period. But just, just going to say. I did not put any of the silver or the gold or any of that on my other tags. But that's, a, of course, that's always an option for more uh, color, um, more dimension. But I think they're super pretty. All right. Please like and subscribe, uh, share with a friend, um, post any questions that you have. I'd be happy to try to help you out. And I uh, look forward to next uh, Tuesday. Thanks. To make a special kind of tag. <laughs>